Get ready because we are diving into the unknown as they take on Foxy Gaming in the upcoming lower bracket finals. It's a best of one and this is the FSL Dota 2 Open 2 brought to you guys by FSL alongside with our partners and sponsors Yahoo and Intel. Of course, we are your commentators and we will be crowning the champions today. I'm Husky and I'm joined by the ever so lovely Otomo. I love the, uh, I love the stars where we're going to go diving into the unknown against Foxy Gaming. Very nice. Uh, yeah, these are the two teams we have in the... Uh, lower bracket finals is the best of one so if you win you go straight up to the grand finals the best of three against g army that's a tough order like we just saw unknown play really well but foxy gaming put up a great challenge against g army yesterday so i think we're gonna have a very close match i mean i'm hoping we're gonna have a very really close match yeah and after seeing how unknown came back from that previous game against luji i mean a lot of high hopes but let's see if the draft will give us a better picture of what's to come sand king lion mars nyx assassin winter wyvern and lifestealer taken now unknown with a nice stalker mirana opening and foxy gaming they will turn around and summon the sun in phoenix and luna a very interesting combo between Phoenix and Moon, Luna because when you do Eclipse, you turn it into Night. But if you use the Phoenix Egg, you turn it into Day. But when you use Night Stalker's Ultimate, you turn it into Night. So it's like, <laughs> you know, this, the, it's basically like the day idea. But Phoenix uh, takes seconds, precedence three. over everything. So when you Egg, it's daytime. It does not matter what anything else happens. Five so seconds, that's going to be an interesting combo. But Mirana is such a good counter to Phoenix. She, she is the probably one of the best supports at getting close to and taking out the egg because Snapfire is considered a really good support, but her mobility issues make her difficult to get close to the egg. But Mira just jumps in, bam, 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 Phoenix egg is out. So yeah. uh, good start from both teams, but I kind of like Unknown's draft a little bit more right now. Yeah, I'm just happy that the, the Supernova takes precedence of, of the uh, time of the day. If not, people will be suffering <laughs> epilepsy, right? It's like day, night, you see moonbeams and the sun goes off, you know, the Milky Way collapses. It's the, the universe implodes. <laughs> I mean, there should be a black hole. Game. There, there should, should be an enigma. Should be... Like, we should have an enigma. We should uh, have an invoker. Bad... You know? Ooh, seconds, just summon remain. like the sun strike. I mean, can you imagine we have a phoenix egg and sun strike at the same time? I mean, like, is that Five is it from the remain. from the egg? Is it from the egg the sun strike? That'd be pretty cool. Um, unknown do ban out the Mars. An amazing combination with the phoenix, especially because you can trap the Mirana out or in the arena away from the egg. Bulwark is great as well. So. That I'm surprised Fox Gaming started off with the Phoenix Luna. They they had the combination. They were Diatra. Phoenix and Luna when they could have had the Phoenix and you know something that works really well with it. Diatra. Yeah, I I think I think for at least unknown, well not unknown. Excuse me, Foxy Gaming. You know, respect ban on, on the Wyvern. The unknown showed they're probably one of their strongest cars and Foxy Gaming. It's like yeah, we don't want to deal with that. You know, we saw what mm. happened when uh, Kikuri got absolutely fed on that wyvern me. doesn't matter what post one you are doesn't matter who you are honestly she just she just spits ice on you and you go down uh, so foxy gaming they pick the abaddon up so a lot of healing a lot of sustain for this luna in those fights and mm. now i'm excited to see what unknown has left in that in a mid hero pool now that wyvern is banned Ten they could remaining. consider putting the night stalker mid i mean there's nothing wrong with it once you get blink dagger Five you jump on the phoenix remaining. Uh, Phoenix is just it's so easy to bring the Phoenix down with with that and she can't egg if you're right on top of her so uh, ooh, A, A again yeah they had A last game uh I don't like I, I remember watching the, I don't feel like they had it, she had a good impact but it was like there's no moment where like wow what an amazing um like ability like ulti or anything or ice blast or something but uh it's consistent it's remaining. decent it's a good hero good in the lane nerfed quite a bit this this turn like, this patch remaining. but Unknown feels very comfortable with it. Yeah, I can see why they want the AA, right? You you want to deal with all these healings, boom, Ice Blast kind of takes care of the healing portion. And, and what's left is just the uh, the aphotic shield, the damage reduction. But at least you're preventing the enemy from regenerating health. And I think that is the, the most important of most yeah. important element of what this AA brings to the table. Unknown will probably... I mean, I feel like Terrorblade is decent because you can make such strong illusions of Luna, but... Luna and Phoenix are also pretty good against the AA. Phoenix Sunray is fantastic. The Egg is great as well. Uh, Luna does a good amount of magic damage, keeps her distance from the Terror Blade as well. So, like, if you are thinking of taking Terror Blade, yeah, the Scotty is good because it's good against the healing, and the lane is pretty good and makes a good copy of Luna. But there's like, it's like I counter you and I, and you counter me at the same time. Yeah. So one of the, is this one of the games where Ursa might be a better pick? It, it does feel like it. 
uh, up to this point, right? Good against the Phoenix King. Um, decent laning, Ooh, but I, yeah, I can see the Rape King. Perfect as well. Two lives and a good. You know, if it, it, despite the reincarnation nerf, you probably don't need two lives anyways. If you if if things go right, not I mean two, not two yeah. lives, three lives, barring the ages. And, uh... And, and the Wraith Fire Blast is also a really good Ten combination with the AA uh, Cold Feet in the lane. You know, you get a good slow, you get a good stun followed by a slow. Five you seconds get remaining. the Cold Feet. I, you might need a couple of levels of Wraith, in Wraith Fire Blast to get it actually going, but at least you have a combo that that can work. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, though, it's also one of the few close ones that just that can buy a Blink Dagger and jump in with the rest of the team, right? You need someone to follow with the Night Stalker. Ray King is your guy. Uh, Foxy Gaming with the Chaos Knight response, and uh, want to get your your thoughts on this on this hero. Um, I like what he was. Uh, I think he got a bit of an interesting change Ten where he he lost remaining. his cleave talent. One of the things about Chaos Knight was that people were like, "Oh, he's super strong early Five game," and then you get the cleave talent, so you can scale to late game. But without the cleave talent, he can't really scale. So I think this is an offlane Chaos Knight. Dire you can get back. a um, an Agonims for your team. That's gonna be helpful. I think that's gonna how you're gonna play. I don't think this is like a carry or a mid Chaos Knight. It's just gonna be an offlane Chaos Knight. I have to look at the changes again, Radiant but uh, good back. combo with against the Mirana. He can help peel the Mirana away from the egg. You know, with Reality Rift with the stuns, just keep her away from the egg. Yeah, and I think we've seen a couple of examples, uh, even in, in the uh, pro pro uh, pro scene. You know, I was it. I think the TI qualifiers um, that we saw. I, one of the notable ones. I think Sumil was one of the few back. players that picked up this Chaos Knight post one. Um, obviously, in this scenario, it's a Chaos Knight tree, but yeah, I, I, can, I can see the, the the possibility, right? You get the Phantasm out. If the enemy have very little way to clear the illusions, you reactive riff, and suddenly you just press, and that's a, a delete button, like ancient apparition. Yeah. And good luck trying to survive that. Yeah, uh, it, but the thing is, if you look at Foxy Gaming's draft, they actually have no real catch. Seconds. Like they have no real way of getting close to people. Yes, Chaos Knight does have his reality rift, Five but seconds. AA has like global range with ice blast and has a 1400 range with ice vortex so she's she's gonna be fine and that's a good pick i like the invo the invo they, because they heard us you know mm. we we want rainbow sunshines and nighttime invoke yeah i know it's like you know, kakeri this is it this is your chance your chance to shine you know they, they thought that wyvern was your thing Ten but seconds. they're showing us something more complicated you know? we throw Foxy. nine spells at them Fox Game is going to need a mid laner, someone with a bit of tempo as well, just to get the. I mean, I think they would have taken Invoke with themselves because it would have been so good the AMP against the Wraith King. Instead, they have to pick someone else. Uh, the Spirits, I think all the Spirits are available, except Amber. Okay, Amber Spirits. So Storm Spirit as well as Void Spirit are available. Void Spirit might be pretty good. You need someone who can move in to fights and you need that mobility. Storm Spirit also pretty good, but a bit more susceptible to the Night Stalker as well and Invoker. So I feel Void Spirit is decent. I was thinking of the Kumka, but yeah, it's only the Void Spirit. I guess it, 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 heroes that can lane decently against the Invoker and can create tempo is, is what you want, right, as Foxy Gaming. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get this. This is 100% going to be a, a super interesting game. Well, we saw what these two teams can do. Uh, only one of them will be able to go up against Jeremy later on in the Grand Finals and finally play that Marathon Best of Three. Man, this road has not been easy for both of them. You know, in the lower bracket elimination match, uh, lower bracket finals, in fact, mm -hmm. and we are seeing, uh, we're slowly seeing how this new meta is shaping, uh, the the competitive scene. I think Night Stalker has been really popping up over everywhere. Yeah, he has. He's been doing. He's just. He's a good hero. Like the strength hero can silence multiple people. He once you get the agony, he's a bit a bit of a farmer as well. So I definitely. Feel like we'll be a little bit, we'll be seeing a little bit more nice talk. What I'm surprised though is that no one really wants the Beastmaster or the Lycan, neither picks nor bad. I think that Jarmy might uh, we might see that when Jarmy comes into play. But for now, teams are adding a few new heroes like the Abaddon and the Voice Pit, while sticking to old classics like the AA as well as the Phoenix. Uh, looking at drafts though, I mean this is uh, well, look at the cosmetics. I can I can barely tell who's who. Like at the bottom there, you know, like. Abaddon, CK, and Luna, like they're so shiny, all of them. Oh yeah. And this is uh this is what Dota has been, you know, slowly inching towards. <laughs> this adding more color. There was, I wish there was a, a, a setting that allows you to remove oh, all cosmetics. Oh, You're like, okay, I don't have to look at any cosmetic. Everyone just looks like their basic color to me. I said, uh, yeah. 
Uh, I kind of, I mean, let's see. Fox Gaming has a great team fight with the Phoenix Egg. They have a pretty tanky group of people. Even the Luna can tank later on once she has a few items. We saw that in the previous game. Uh, unknown, really good control with Kakeri. Uh, Ice Blast is really strong against all that healing. Like, this is... I feel like the drafts are pretty even, honestly. Oh, yeah. Another close game uh, on our hands, that's for sure. Hopefully, right? <laughs> We're all hoping for another close game. Yesterday, we, d we didn't really get much of that, but... But we, we our first game was uh, the longest game that we had, but it's also, it was mm. also the most even game that we had. For sure, and there were a lot of back and forth in that series. In the meantime, though, which of these teams, I'm, I'm really trying to think. I I love Phoenix late game. I feel like Phoenix late game is just so strong. You, must, you just put the egg somewhere and you just win the fights. But you're up against Wraith King, who doesn't care, and Mirana, who can burst the egg down pretty easily at the same time. Mm. Yeah. It's yeah, it, it does make you think, right? Like, what what impact can this? Uh, how much impact does this egg bring to the table? I mean, even yeah. even let's say the Mirana can, even if it's not the Mirana, right? Let's say the Rave King or the Invoker or the Nice Stalker gets on top of the egg, give that hero alacrity. Yeah, that person's dead, right? Like, there's no yeah. no way. Uh, on the other hand, there is a Chaos Knight, so with that Agonims, he, he does provide quite a lot of value for the whole team. Hmm. I I don't know, I can't really pick one. I, I, both teams have also played really well. We've seen Foxy Gaming go up against Jarmian too well, whereas Unknown just not had an incredible series. I think it, fatigue is going to be a factor. You know, imagine you just played an incredible best of one, and then you just straight away have to go into another match like within 15 minutes. You're like, okay, I'm pretty tired. This is where the whole, the, the whole you know solo queue experience where you play at ten games a day. That's that's where that training comes into fruition. <laughs> I'm tired. To put I that seven... into full use. I play seven games, but I need that win. I need that win. Yeah. It's all red. I need to get a little, a little bit of green. I'm sure I'll win the next one. There's like eight yeah, thousand, like just it, like my my history is red. Chinese New Year. It's a bit too early for Chinese New Year. You know, I need a bit a bit of green. Like Christmas is not near, Chinese New Year is even farther. We are still, no, we are still uh, in 2021. I, I need me some green, green, you know. Like you can't cross the I'm... street if the light is red. Give me a green, the no, a green begins. ending. Green is to go to bed. An arrow is actually good. Oh, the lions, but he was able to get it in the beginning, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, oh, by the way, one thing about Phoenix that she did get a bit of a buff to the fire spirits, but a, lot, but a bunch of other things got nerfed. Sunray heals a bit less. And Icarus Dive has 300 less range at level 1, like 300, 200, 100. So that's actually kind of significant but nerfs on both because Icarus Dive is the last spell you max. So the, for you're going to have like reduced range for a lot. And uh, the Sunray Healing is also a big deal. 20% less healing, I believe. Yeah. Well, when I saw the Fire Spirit buff, I was like, seriously, Ice Rob? You don't think it was annoying enough? Now you give it an AoE and I'm definitely not dodging that. I'll just take it. I will just take this fire spirit like a man. And wait it up. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Honey Lisa, I love how she arrows herself, goes to hit to hit KK Su and she's like, I don't care about my Luna being arrowed. I wanna do damage. But this is the, this is really how you wanna play the Abda. Look at look this is such a good teamwork. The Honey Lisa's hitting and now it's like, okay, here's a solution just to get you a few more hits off. It's insane, you know, like like Abaddon, you, you need some Ooh. guts early on, like you can take these arrows I'm in the face, but Honey Lisa is like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm surprised the arrow hit. She looked like she was very much on the side, but Hataki also a bit of harass. Oh my goodness, yeah, the, the fire spirit. Telling you. Sometimes people wonder if Ice Rock plays Dota. Uh, I, I, I don't doubt the fact that he plays Dota for sure. I think he plays way too much Dota, so the things that he, he comes out with are pe things that people... You know like those... You know like people who are like Einstein level of IQ? The things that they think yeah. of are probably things that you won't agree with. Like for example, vaccines are good for the, for mankind. Or like people don't agree with that. And the earth is round, people don't agree with that. So you, you gotta cut I ice from some slack. I mean, I look at the window, I see flat. Must be flat all over. You know? <laughs> I don't, it, I, I don't see the, the other side, you know? There's we're no we're curve at the end of the ocean. We are like a plate, you know, like a plate yeah. of food. We're just rolling through space like a plate. Some people fall <laughs> off the edges occasionally. Like, oh, yeah. be careful. 
The best art. But when I take a plane, I don't see the curve, you know? Sky is flat, <laughs> the ocean is flat. Has you know? been and the like house so... that you live in is called a flat. And there's no curve. There's no curve. You can't, you can't convince me otherwise. There's a show that uh, is about this, about the flat earth. And I think it's a documentary it's called uh, Flat Earth Ahead of the Curve. And I was like, that's such a good name. That's such a good name <laughs> for it. Like, how, like everyone's just taking the... They're just, just taking the piss on, on this. <laughs> it's hilarious. Well, it feels like Foxy Gaming is just dominating all the lanes, to be honest with you. I'm, uh, I'm looking at them and they're doing pretty well in the mid lane, they're doing pretty well in the, in the side lanes as well. This is kind of scary for Unknown because I don't think they're like, they need, they have a much a superior team fight that they can rely on. They are, the laning stage is important for them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ooh, Though man, this this is very much like you're putting everything in the Rave King, right? You just you give him all the buff, the solo crest, whatever, and and wow, like this is one of the games that the king has to do all the work. And oh my goodness, Honey Lisa, there we go, with Shield. She wants the she okay, so she oh a bit too much. Uh, yeah, she, she's dead. You forgot that there was the magic stick. And not only that, but it's like you're diving tower against a full creep wave and two heroes. Uh, it's very risky. So Honey and Lisa, I, I mean, if that worked, we would have been like, wow, Honey and Lisa, get that girl to TI. But then she did that and you're like, okay, now I remember why, you know, why we're not quite there yet. That was, that was just a bit too bold. Yeah, yeah but to, to be fair, I, I think it is also like in some situations, you're just like, yeah, I, I don't really care if I die. You know, I was able to, to burn the region of this Night Stalker. I agree, but that was first blood. Right, right. Yeah. Now that makes it a bit worse. It's like, I yeah, shot two hundred go, I'm not sure if I... Uh, if that's a good trait, you know? In, in, in millennial terms, it's called not stonks. I hope I pronounced ah, it correctly. Ah, yes. Yeah, yes, that, as I agree with that. It's definitely uh, anti stonks right there. Uh, it's, not, it's not what the kids are calling lit. Yeah, it's not lit. <laughs> we are past that. It's oh my not... god, did you see that Icarus dive? That was so cute! It's so short now! I haven't seen... By the way, because the Icarus dive is... Um, the duration stays the same, but you travel less, you actually have a much slower Icarus dive as well. That's a nerf I didn't think of. Oh, right. Oh. Arrow connects nice again. Is Sunny Lisa. She, she fights! She definitely yeah, but fights. Yeah, but these are expensive trades that uh, they're, both teams are going with, but Sunny Lisa... I think that might, this might actually be her life. Yeah, she yeah. Be. I mean, you can say and that the late being won by Foxy Gaming, major, uh, mm. like at least uh, for the first three minutes, but now two kills for the off lane of unknown. And uh, the mid lane is completely even. 20, I mean, I, I was saying Boyd was doing a little better, but it, it just invoke once he gets a couple of points in. I don't. Did he go for any points in Exhort? Now it's gonna be. I, I'm sure it's the Quaswex build. Yeah, exactly. And well, now he's just fine. He gets all this Aww. free healing. Yeah. That was gonna be it's kind of wishful thinking either way, to be honest with you. The invoke is pretty tanky. 15 magic yeah. wands and fairy fire. Like no matter what, it was a bit, it would have been a hard one. Going for the vessel against a team with Abaddon though is it doesn't feel great most of the time. Oh, well, nice. We have the rock. wayfire blast. Oh, just barely out of range. It's this. I think like people underestimate the uh, level execution you need to get the Kofi plus plus yeah. one stun off because the Kofi needs to go off first and the stun needs to follow up like right and, after that. And the thing is, the the rate king like stun level was like one point one seconds, and Kofi needs four seconds to proc. Like it takes forever. And Honey Lisa, are you gonna be okay? Oh boy, she's dead. So That's the third kill. That is brutal because if you, I think that like we were looking at KK Su, we firstly. Her net, her CS was abysmal in the beginning, thanks to Honey Lisa's harass. Honey Lisa dies three times, giving first blood, and it gives Nysak a lot of time to come back because now you're facing two on one. You know, you're not scared of the Luna by herself, so she's able to get a few good uh, CS going. Crazy yeah, I... how this just turned around like that. And all the bravado early on might have backfired. Good sidestep from Nana to dodge the arrow. That would have been bad, but maybe it wouldn't matter too much if Kekuri has the intention to go on. I think Aunt Lisa should be able to pro uh, protect Nana. Kikuri might just TP away without getting much, but yeah, here comes Skeletons. One of the most annoying things when you go up against Ray King is that his little minions, they do damage. And they come back uh, to life. 
Yeah, I think my ooh, arrow comes out almost as the Luna and we okay voice first here as well. And this is gonna be the first big skirmish on Lisa getting out of there, but then she still goes out eventually. They have the sun ray for the Phoenix as well. Sleepless wants to make sure the Kikiri doesn't get away with this and they zap her. That's a good sun ray. And the sentry ward also did a lot of work. So not too bad of a response from Foxy Gaming to get two. I wonder, is Sleepless going for the max Sunray over Fire Spirits on the Phoenix? That's kind of an interesting thing to see because, I mean, there's usually, uh, oh no, okay, so still two points in the Fire Spirits. Going you for think the Urn one, two, as two well. is good? Um, Sunray level two does so much more damage than level one, but Fire Spirits helps you farm, it helps you, uh, like, it's, the, the damage increase is like, what, 80 per stack? You get like 320 total damage extra. It's really good. They both, they, like, there's a good argument to be made for you. Yeah, tornado goes wide, but this Kofi is definitely going to connect. Good Phantasm to dispel that. Good one from Cat Chaser. If only the Tornado hit, maybe that would have been a kill. But Kakeru being really active. Do we have a Sunstrike? I don't think she does. It's a Quasar Wax Invoker. So, mm. uh, good for Cat Chaser. She gets out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, now that I look at it, I'm thinking the vessel is even a worse of a choice if they CK gets Aghanims, because then you get Global Phantasm, and it's like, oh, you can just save all your allies from it. It's it's too risky. Uh, but uh, but they do have remember they do have a Wraith King. Wraith King last game was a huge impact. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Hatake on the Luna was was able to farm a storm, so they should be able to do the same thing. Hey, Lisa. Oh my God, that is the fifth death of this Abaddon. I mean, not exactly yeah, right? what you what what you want, you know. I, 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 I think this is the, the time where, I mean, since Nana is in the jungle, right, you, you want to soak up HP, you hide in the trees, or you start stacking, like, something has to change. Like, to be two, fair, one, two times, it, it's okay. Five Dyer's times in eight minutes, is under attack. Yeah, it's, it's starting to become an issue. To be fair, though, if you were going to die five times on any position, the position five Abaddon is the one you wanted to be on. Can't spell post five without five death on that KD. <laughs> But yeah, like that's I, the limit. I mean, yes. <laughs> Honey Lisa may be Dyer's like top tower is in a bit of a tough spot, but again, that's the hero you want to be. In a tough oh, spot. Wow, Kikuri okay, is the one. Guess back up from the AA. I would say, you know, and... Lingen is, is showing us that that she is the superior mid laner. Look at this, 61 last is compared to Kikuri's 41. That's a that's four creep waves ahead. But Kikuri pretty active. Ooh. Supernova guess pop. Yeah, see, I was just gonna run in. That, the eight. Oh my goodness. It's gonna go off. Kikri is 100% gonna die mistake. from this. Uses the fairy fire, has the ghost walk, but the fire spirits burns her down. They have the dust. Can't chase her. Can she get out with the phantasm? The sun ray heals it up. Seamless doing God's work. CL finally chops her up. Still goes down though. Foxy Gaming. What a great response in that bottom lane. Uh, Hatake and Kikuri had very different ideas about the egg. You can see Hatake, he, she was actually low HP and she's like, I'm gonna go back in, gets two hits off. And Voker on the other hand was like, no, I don't want to go back in. Goes in at the very last second, gets hit by the egg explosion. So I was like, damn, that that was just a miscommunication by, by, the, by, the, by, the, by the players. But it happens and it's not really a big deal. Yeah. Lisa, I think it's one of those situations where it's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't, right? Because Kikuri was extremely low. Like yeah. the, the supernova burn would have been like would have killed her regardless and she was dusted up and it's a to tough be fair, spot though, to be in. She did survive till after the sun the sunray like the, the egg exploded, so it's like yeah supernova would yeah. have that would have hurt, but you put on your Wex uh, orbs and you hit it and you might have just been able to be fine. Oh well. It, it is what it is, you know, you can't yeah. Oh. Honey oh, Lisa okay. DCing. She's uh, she's like that's it. I died enough times. No more. <laughs> I, they can't kill me if I'm disconnected. Oh, wait, that's the fourth death, not the fifth. Okay. Right. No, no, the what fifth. Death. I, 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 no, like, I, I, I'm bad with numbers. Okay, that was my bad. Yeah, yeah. The observer is rubbing it in. I am so. I, I looked. I looked at. I looked at the four kills on side of Foxy Gaming, and my brain was like, yeah, that's four deaths. Four oh, deaths for unknown, but not for Foxy Gaming. It's it's uh, no big deal, honestly. Again, it's it, she's level six now, so she can take a lot more hits than she needs to. But meanwhile, though, Kakeri is having a bit of a tough game. She is lowest net worth, I think, among the cores. Has two deaths. Wasn't able to really do what anything for for her team so far. Yeah, it, it does look pretty bad, right? We, we looked at 
her, she was quite active, but it is not kind of paying off, you know? You, you want those mm. those rotations to turn to something, but all it does was two deaths and a Phoenix kill. Maybe the Abaddon on top of that is, is not the it's not Dyer's the money shot. You, you don't really feel satisfied with those trades. Sleepless is doing a good, pretty decent job. I mean, she's got, she's got a couple of creeps, but she also found... Look at Sleepless' net worth. 3k at, at almost 12 minutes. That is... Fantastic uh, farming for support. Oh dear. Tornado, crippling field. They get Silas Ningen. If she goes down, this is gonna be huge. The ice blast goes wise. Ningen will use it to simply get away. Another supernova. This time they're gonna turn your attention onto that. They will have to sacrifice this nice doctor, but they get to fry an egg for lunch. But unfortunately, Kikuri too far forward in front. Ate the remnant pulls her back and they will beat her. Cat Chaser will play that kill and Foxy once more at the right place at the right time. Yeah dear, the ice blast. And this is one of the things. You will occasionally miss your spells. It's very human to do. Nothing, not in the, like no shame in that. But when you miss this, your spells with, with these skill shots, it can be very, very detrimental for your team. So you have arrow, you have ice blast, uh, you have tornado. These things have to land. We've seen them. There have been a few mistakes that cost them. Ice is gonna come though, and maybe they can try something here on Nana. So Skymio, very ambitious. They have the initially touch, but oh no, Kikari! Not like this. Thankfully, she has the Ghost Swarm and Moonlight Shadow from the support. But this Invoker, I think it's time to slow down a bit. Eclipse was used though, so there's a bit of an opening here if they can like actually go to go do something with it. But level 8 Invoker, position 2. Level 8 in Phoenix, position 4. Like, wow, it's like the Sleepless is farming up a storm. And But uh, Hatake is top of that worth. Is she this going for the Midas or is she going for a Radiance Rush? Could we check on the Wraith King for a second just to see what she's going with? It's going to be the Radiance yeah. Rush. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, th I, I think, think it's that's... okay, right? I mean, yeah. If your team, is, your team is making space for you, yes, it's expensive space because you are 1k go behind. But, you know, you, you get that Midas, you, so you get that Radiance off, you are ready to go. And you're also able to kind of keep up a bit more of the Luna farm, right? Like a, mm. like any means that allow you to keep up with Luna. Sure, you have the skeletons, but if you have uh, the radius, it does it better. It's Cat Chaser. Yes! I, I, oh, I, I can't actually believe hit. I'm actually hit. I, I, what's that? I think it's the Phoenix. Oh, no, it's the Luna. Not, oh, whatever. I, I think... Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Dora is... Right now, it's probably the only time where I'll be scared to see a, a piglet run at me. <laughs> right? Is that, I mean, you see them You see them, and you're like, wow, you are really confident. Not only are you like, you're moving fast, but you're also a pig. You're like, are you, sure? you, you choose to hex yourself to kill me. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's confidence right there. Like, like, <laughs> and that's confidence that you need to be afraid of. Both teams don't... Uh, they have one hard scaler. Then they have a lot of control coming out from their off from the other two cores. Like, you know, Void Spirit is well known for with his agams, he brings a lot of control. Invoker also known to bring control with you know deafening blast and EMP and tornadoes. There's a lot of control there. Same thing. The CK has a bit of stuns. Nice has a stun. So there's a lot of control coming out from everyone. But it's going to be two people who do the damage. That's going to be interesting to see. Uh, and then you look at the support staff though. Phoenix reigns supreme. You know the. There is a, the Phoenix is just the best support right there in this game. You have Abaddon for saves. So Foxy Gaming, I feel like they could take this game at the, with the, the way the game is going right now. A bubble from the void. And of course they have the goal lead. But we are seeing the difference between last Radiant game and this game, right? Where this Luna's net worth advantage over the enemy core isn't as prominent. It's just a me measly you know, 200 goal. They do see this Abaddon, but yeah, she does have to borrow time, so... Buying a bit more space for the team. There are TPs coming in. Honey Lisa is 100% gonna die. Dominating for Sky Mule. This bit of support is going off. But bottom lane, I think they're trying to go in for a dive. Sleepless. Mass TP coming in. Sleepless does survive. Okay, so it's gonna get away and catch Chaser decides against that. The ward is an easy target. A pretty. A slightly weird interaction right there, you know. The Fox Team Gaming was deciding whether they want to commit. A cat chaser now does not have a TP. So, not able to respond too much in the middle lane, but it might not matter too much. The case still goes down despite the tornado. A bit too late from Kekiri. Fox Team Gaming should be able to secure this tier 1. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate though. Losing your, your off laner like that. You also lost the ward bottom lane and the tower. And there's a cat chaser. She's in. There's the eclipse. Mirana, that's the streak. 
dominating streak as well. It's a lot. Kangaroo getting zapped down, burned, and just obliterated. Another death for this invoker. The blink dagger on Cat Chaser is so good. You can just blink on anyone and you throw the stun. You know, like one of the problems with the uh, Chaos Knight is that his stun takes a long time to reach. You can just blink right next to them, cast range will matter. And yeah, this AA blast is nice, but then actually won't change too much. Radiance, I imagine, is finished on the Wraith King, so at least once he joins, once she joins the fight, that's gonna make a difference. But I mean, I, I, I said earlier, Radiance is you know, it's, it's good. You can, it's great, a great item to get it excites your farm, but you still need like a BKB and maybe a Blink Dagger before you're fight ready. Yeah, I definitely think go. that Blink Dagger is the item that, that CL needs to get like right, mm. right as soon as possible. Right, you need a way to access the backline, or or at least you know. Uh, join the rest of your team. Uh, for uh, and the big dagger doesn't just solve the uh, chaos boat no trajectory, the project of travel yeah. time. But at the same time, if you if Lady Luck is on your side, you get a four second stun. That's a kill. Yeah, you can just, like jump, like you can throw the stun. And you're like, oh, four seconds. I might as well blink in Phantasm and just bash their heads in. So there's a, there's that a lot of flexibility to the item, and you can make it into the overwhelming blink, which I think is like my favorite of the three blinks. I, 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 yeah, I, I hate that. In a good way. What? It's, it's too so good. nice. It's, I love That's the whole I love point. You get, you get on the centaur, it's so fun. I love when you just blink it with centaur, and you're like, oh my god, I just like crushed everyone with just a blink. You just have this um, titan yeah. energy, right? You just, just blink in, you get the, uh, the effects, just woof, and then everyone slows down. It's like... Is, it, it could be bigger. I want, I want when I blink, I want like to leave like, like two footprints on the ground, you know, like when I landed, like, oh my god, you know, like Thanos yeah, just landed among us. That that would have been great if you have Giant's Ring uh, equipped. Ooh, that's true. Yeah. And then maybe you get the extra effect, right? So, yes. It's very, very situation, very circumstantial, but if you get it, that's like the cherry on top. It's like you are, you're sieging War Maria, you know? Hmm. Wow, Attack on Titan reference. I thought you don't like anime, though. By the way, everyone, uh, Husky says anime is bad. Yeah, that's what no, we're saying. I, go like that. No, 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 I, no I, 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 I watch anime, okay? I watch it on Animax as a kid, you know? Mm. That's my first line now, of defense. Now we're adults. Cartoon. Yeah, so I watch it on, I don't know, Netflix. There, there are good ones on Netflix, okay? Well... I mean, for sure. I mean, yeah. The, 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 oh, there you go, hey, Lisa. But that's a five. It's also cool when you get five seconds arrow and have to jump because you know it's pointless. You're like, oh, great. What yeah. am I gonna do? Nothing. Oh, again, Kikuri over standing. Ice blast flying troop. They do get it on the cat chaser and a good crippling fear. You can't phantasm and you shatter. Honey Lisa does pop the uh, borrowed time, but Kikuri still goes down. Supernova also triggers. Nintendo accesses the back line, takes down two. They also defend this tower. And Foxy Gaming. For probably the fifth time, this stops unknown in the tracks. If you look at uh, Mirana's skill build, she's maxing out arrow after getting the Star Storm. That is, this is a standard build. So there's nothing wrong with it. But if you look at the leap, you double the uh, the attack speed bonus you get from level two, like from level one to level two. So you really want to put a few points on leap just so you can get to the egg and actually take it out. But going for the max arrow build, this is not. It's not, it's not going to help you too much when you have. Two sources of dispel on the enemy side, both the CK later with the Agonims, and right now just the Omni, uh, sorry, the Abaddon with the shield. So, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Fake grenade is such a good item, right? It, it gives you vision, so I assume against I invisible enemies, you just throw the fake grenade and and they can't go invisible. Mm, it's I'm crazy, sure right? It's like, does it remain invisible? Not I have no idea, but I do know that it might be something like Spectre's Dagger, where when you go invisible, you still leave that trail of smoke. Yeah. So you still know where they are. Still crazy though, like you, you do yeah. your base damage worth uh, initially and then you have like... I, I, is it like 140 or 200 DOT over time? 140 DOT 140, over time. Yeah. That is crazy, you get a guaranteed 140 damage. Like who it's, else has that? Uh, it's one of the best, it's, it's a really good item. I mean, it does so much. It gives you tracking. Gives you damage over time. Gives you, by the damage over time is also amazing because you can stop people from linking. Not only do you track them, but you stop them from linking anywhere. It's like a free earn in a way. Like another arrow, oh, but it's Honey Lisa. They, got, they get more time. 
don't think so. Uh, she's, you can just turn on the shield if you needed to. She yeah, doesn't have the mana, but she's fine. Yeah, no problem. Well, this <laughs> game, I mean, it's 4K for Foxy Gaming. It's still Hatake on the top, so this is one of those games where you're like, yeah, there's 4K, but I'm not so sure that that means that it's one team is actually crushing it. They're just ahead. Hatake is so far, I'm gonna get that BKB, and that's a dead AA. Yeah, under a sentry as well. Yes. Lingen, unstoppable. 6 and 0. Oh. I think the entire game, she has not died once. Okay, man, that's the worst feeling when you're supporting it with like NL. You're like, I just wanted to deward, guys. Why are you so angry? Just let, just let me deward, you know? Just want to put a sentry there. Yeah, what's with all these negative emotions that you're projecting on me, you know? Orchid gonna come out from the Invoker. Again, I don't. I'm not loving it just because I feel like, again, the Abaddon with his. Apothic shield is just too good. It's just too good at this spell, and he's always gonna get it off. Yeah. Even without the shoe, he can just miss coral. You know, he just heals you, and mm. like Abaddon is like the is like the big no button. Oh, you know, he just yeah. like whatever you do, like he, he's like no. You want to kill me? No. You want to kill my team? No. You want to poke them? No. He, he's the Naga sleep of supports. You know, he just, <laughs> he just presses all the things with ooh, good arrow. Very this good arrow is huge. If they can follow up. The Ice Blast though, man, I unknown you need to land those Ice Blasts on top it, of the target. It technically landed as I was traveling, so you still get the debuff, but you don't get any of the damage. So that's, yeah, that's, but, that's... Yeah, but it's like, what you mean. like, do you, yeah, it's like, yeah, I get, the, you know, it, it, it applies when it passes through, that's great. But you know what's great? I want to land landing on it. him. No. You kind of over... Drop it like uh, Overestimate, you know. I think I think uh, the idea for unknown is that okay, they would definitely run back. They're humans. Humans run when they're in danger. Let me just throw it like ten miles behind. But sometimes if you have a setup, just put it on top. It's an AOE spell. Like don't be afraid. To be fair though, you if you were, I'd rather overshoot it and hit them with the all the all the. Oh boy, it's the same place. Give us a break, come on. The poor, but poor yeah, it's, it's much better to overshoot it and land at least the, the debuff than to miss completely. You know, so it's Radiant's like, yeah, tower, safe play. Radiant structures. Hataki, you just you spam so much and then you just undershoot, like it's exposed right in front of you and you're like, yeah, whoops. I guess. Oh yeah, I, I, I did that too and I press R multiple times. I'm like, R, R, just get it off. Yeah, it, it blows up in my face and I'm like, whoops. Almost well, there, guess I'll guys. Die. <laughs> I'll be useless again in this fight. It's the effort that counts, you know. It's a zoning out. Oh, yeah, here we go. This one is nice. Ooh. With Ninga teleporting oh, away, this is okay. They cancel it. They might be able to kill her though. Good crippling fish for the use. Just buy a bit of time. Crippling fish runs out. She's going to simulate. Good use on this Phoenix as well. Sleepless was not able to intercept that. But at least they keep her alive. See, uh, with the Moonlight Shadow is expired. She's gonna see Ningen. Ningen will Astral step to safety. Bit of a weird interaction again, but Arrow oh. comes in for Sky Mule. Do they have the Icarus dive? They, they don't matter. need it. That's the Orchid. Okay, pretty good kill. Remember Sleepless? She is farming as well as the Night Stalker. She's basically an off lane at this point. And she's a huge part of their team fight. So they can actually maybe consider pushing this, maybe go for Roche, try to smoke, go for something else. Like they have options for 30 seconds. It's not a lot of time. And it's not gonna be useful time as well if they go up the triangles because it's all warded. And oh no, pause. It's uh, pause gaming today, baby. <laughs> Gotta make right, sure everyone push. is. Everyone Let's is see what the items. What items? What items yeah, do we have? Go. We have the 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 fairy trinket on AA. That's great. Five percent extra damage. Uh, she also has the hat. I love that she's got a fluffy hat just to stay alive. I mean, she's gonna probably build into four seven. She's like, fluffy hat will keep me safe. You will yes. her on the Mirana. Uh, Agnes finish up on the Night Stalker. She can farm a bit more efficiently as well as just do more damage. Hatake has a BKB. There's nothing that goes through BKB on Foxy's side except the Phoenix Egg. So that's gonna be very helpful. And I. I don't know how I feel about this uh, orchid on the the invoker, but I guess you could just use it on the Abaddon himself and silence him. Yeah, the best part about Fluffy Hat uh, 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 is that um, I remember when it first got released, then everyone was like, two Fluffy Hats. That's all you need in lane. Start the laning phase with a Fluffy Hat. That's it. Unkillable. Support instead of two braces, they now buy two Fluffy Hats. Same amount of. It actually gives you more HP now. It's crazy. 
What do you think of the dire items? Anything interesting there? No, I think it's not really. I think every, I, I, for for die is more standard, right? Everything is in its place. Mm. Uh, bow wave for Abaddon. I think the fake grenade is on the, uh, the Phoenix for Foxy Gaming. Unknown also has one on the Night Stalker, which which is okay. I mean, you need every little bit of damage that you can get. In fact, I think Nana just get, has the best item in the game. Compared to the Dragon skill, I would take the Quicksilver uh, amulet at any time. I was just hoarding the Growth I, Bow as well. I I always think that I must be misunderstanding Quicksilver amulet because I always look at them like, oh, it's fine, I guess it seems okay, but then everyone's like, oh, it's so good, and I just. I just don't, I never I don't really get it most of the time. I think it's like oh, the movement trick. speed, the uh, projectile speed, and the uh, the attack speed, right? It's just a good carry item. Though between that and Ring of Aquila, sometimes I feel like Ring of Aquila would be slightly better because at true. the end of the day, you kind of want the flat stats. And it gives you a plus two armor for all your teammates, which may not, may not sound like too much, but it is helpful. Like having that two armor on everyone is very helpful. Because it, it's not like it's affected by a Buckler or Vladimir's own aura item, you know? So it's just nice. Yeah. By the way, this, did Phoenix take the Icarus Dive slow? I'm seeing more and more uh, talents, uh, people taking the Icarus Dive slow talent Radiant's over the 5 talent. I think 6% damage. You can look at Phoenix's talent choice. Oh, it's, it's a spell. It's a spell. I think okay. spell M is just way better, right? If your Sunray burns through people, like, it, like, it hurts more. Like everything just hurts more. Like, I mean, like Dota is, is a sadistic game. You you want to do damage, <laughs> right? I hate I hate when I play a support like Abaddon Oracle and I heal per, a person. I'm like I don't want to heal people. I want to hurt people. A purifying flame is 300 new get. Boom, that's it. I don't see the healing portion of it. I just see the damage portion of it. I'm like, yeah, it does damage. I like that. I bet you when Oracle was designed, Ice Rock had this in mind. It's like I want a support that that actually like that, that low key kills people. So let me put Fortune's end. That dispels, and let me give him a 300 damage nuke. He's gonna steal your creeps. He's gonna secure range creep. You can't like like the 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 worst part is you can't even deny. You don't even need to think about deny. He just he just presses one button, like a 0.2 cast point or something. Like it just like destroys the creep. Like you trade it's with him, he, he yeah he presses two buttons and like, you're down to 40 percent health. You're like all right, I guess like like great support, you know, great hero design. I love it. Has a save that prevents you from dying and hard to spell. Like, what else can you ask for? I think that uh, Lion's still the best support when it comes to uh, getting Radiant kills. Like, oh, I'll oh, just Dyer's finger him. Tower. I'll just yeah. finger and they're dead. It's just, it's so much fun. You walk yeah, I need this rage creep. Hold on. 700 damage lightning. Well, yeah. There's the axe on the Night Stalker, but it is nighttime. Dyer's so, okay, so it's gonna get away. No problem with the Moonlight Shadow as well. Under the cover of the Moonlight. Mm. Very what fast. What do you think about this axe? Oh, for the ice soccer? Yeah. It helps him a lot because, I mean, you remember what he helps take away the phantasm illusions. I think that Luna has a Manta style, takes away that as well. You can hit multiple people. It helps you farm a ton, also, which, he, which yeah, ice soccer needs help with. But Foxy Gaming being smart, just going for the Roshan. They know Moonlight Shadow is down, so they say, why, not, why don't we just go for it here? Has have good vision on the cliff as well. Yeah, they might turn. Kakeri and has to be really careful. Okay, four spirits is there. This Roshan is really darn slow. I don't think they're, right. yeah, they're not committing to it. It's so Dyer's slow. <laughs> like after a few hits, they, they realize that I don't think it's a good idea. You know? We'll take a, we'll take Dyer's some time doing it, guys. But uh, they do have like the kings of Roshan. You know, they have the Phoenix oh, thing. Like Dyer's bottom lane. Tower is under attack. Uh, yeah, bottom lane. I think Rave King getting gone on. But yeah, he hurts. She hurts. Like she is hard. And she's got two lives, so she's like, you yeah. want to dance? You want to dance and, again? And look at this voice spirit. She's like, I am sorry, sir. Sorry, king. Mm. I was I was thinking of doing, oh, voice spirit does have the agonim. So uh, you jump on the A or the Mirana. It's so good. You can just sil silence the mouth forever. So a really good item here. But both teams feeling very confident with their late game, Damage. which I think still goes a little bit more to Foxy. Like, late game, late game. There's just nothing as good as the Phoenix Egg like, on in terms of support side for unknown and Abaddon's incredible late game. Can you imagine if uh, Cat Chaser went go uh, went for the axe, like she buys the axe, and then she just mass phantasm during a supernova? Hmm. Like, I think like, I, your I think like you either I think win hidden. by the supernova going off or you just crash the enemy PC with the illusions. 
Uh, that, though, if you do that, you give the enemy one second to hit the egg because it takes away everyone out when, when they're like being made into copies. So I think that. I don't think you want to use it while you're egging. Oh dear. Oh, good reaction time with that. With that uh, ghost wall, and now they get in danger. Meatball rolling through. She's burning. She self uses herself with the clip to protect the A. Kikiri just gonna stand there. She takes the supernova. She's gonna, she might take the life, but the A will be void. That does hurt. This nice talk is doing a lot of work. Cold feet. It's gonna keep Cat Chaser in place. They get the wrong target. It's the illusion, but they'll come back in. Cat Chaser with that BKB. It is just not enough. Hata King could destroy her. They get two kills. And uh, jumping on Ningen like that was so good. And that AoE Void, by the way, it really did work in that fight. Arrow! Oh, so good close. Dodge. There's still crippling fear and there's still borrowed time. So it would take a while to kill a Panizisa. But they know they got this. The crit goes oh. through the borrowed time. Oh my god. I was looking at that as well. Holy crap. They are, like, you get a crit off after the opponent. Oh god. The 613 crit. That's one way to kill an Abaddon. Yeah, just oh, I'm I'm kind of flabbergasted. I was I was thinking that it looks really good for Foxy late game, and I mean the game's not over. Even this rack might not fall. Arrow comes out. Do they have any blinks? Oh my God! Oh, that oh boy. Be... Okay, the good sky mules here. With over over extension, the Phoenix is 100% dead. But now you're behind the lines. This is the high ground you're going into, and. Uh, Foxy, not a welcoming team at all. Okay, we'll come back tonight with second, second chance. Doesn't have the BKB online, and I think she's gonna go down. One of the ways to lose a lead is by overextending, and that Phoenix A is not worth it. The thing is, that that arrow landing was a bait for unknown. Like, they're like, maybe this is the 200 IQ play. Phoenix was like, I'm gonna take the arrow, guys. And when they dive me, you guys clean up. You know, this is, this is hashtag... Girl power or something. That's so, like... <laughs> yeah, but they are that so they took the arrow and they were able to get a kill one. That's very impressive. I I think I know would just go for it. They had a kind of a free rack to be honest with you. They could have just gone for it. Yeah. They didn't even take the tier three, that's the that's the kicker right there. Though they can contest Roshan, they have the ice blast. It's not really on point, but it, it hits the target it needs to. Oh tornado connects, crippling fear. They get the post that Supernova is gonna protect everyone. Can they kill Lincoln at least? They need to shatter him. He is gonna go down. Supernova pulse, but at least they took out the point for it. And now Ikakake is just to give up her life. Luna turns around with the BKB, gets a double kill, and Nana just destroys everyone. Triple kill for this Luna. They needed that Rave King, and now Skymir is gonna be the fourth target. Does not have to leave. He was on a 10 second cooldown, and 10 seconds is just way too long. That's kind of a essentially a team wipe, but Foxy Gaming should be able to get the ages. It was too big of a commitment, honestly. You, you needed to sort of like maybe get a shard on the AA, just throw ice blasts, throw EMPs, throw tornadoes, like just delay the Roche, Roche shot. Maybe get a BKB out. Like there's, I, I it looked pretty good at the beginning. They're like, oh, they might have a chance, but no, there's just no way for them to fight. And can we look at Mira? Did she take what what level is Mira? I want to see if she uh, she took the level 15 talent for the extra. Oh, what did she take for the talent choices? We it, yeah. Okay, good, good, great, good. I was like, if you take the Moonlight Shadow, that's that's really a pretty, pretty difficult for you. You must get more attack speed. Still missed out a few opportunities though by not maxing out the leap earlier, to be honest. Yeah. I feel like, I, I, I completely agree. You know, they could have actually just tossed spells, get vision. There's no there's no urgency to contest Roshan, right? Because exactly. Roshan was at 50%. Like you might as well just wait for the Reiki to come back. Like she can Reiki definitely make it in time. And Reiki wasn't there, yeah, exactly. It's like she wasn't she wasn't like sixty mi you know seconds more. She was like thirty or something, twenty five, thirty. So she was she was have been up in time. But uh, I love the item by Reiki. I love the assault cuirass because your your whole team can benefit from the extra damage. I recently was like seeing how much that da damage reduction is great against Luna. You get a couple of points in armor, maybe even a Crimson Guard, and Luna does no damage in, thanks to the uh, Moonglaze bouncing. So it's great. Assault Crest is really good to pick up this game. Definitely think Crimson Guard is also pretty good if you can get it on the Night Stalker. The the Rave King is going for uh, Scotty next. Do you think do you think that a Blink Dagger is necessary? I, I definitely feel like they need a Blink Dagger, right? They might Same. find this Luna. 
could use into a point blank arrow. Follower with the stun. Do they have the oh, ice knife? They get a bit more. Good aquatic oh. shield. Now they turn onto the A, but that's it. DKB committed. They're gonna fry it. No fees now. Good deafening blast. And here we go. Nice knocker into the back line. The Kakusu wants to feed a disruption. They get the stun and they take out the Aegis. That's life number one. Now, can Unknown win this long run? Fight the arrow! Will ensure that Cat Chaser goes down. The first life of this breaking will also be expended. Ningen's BKB will run out, but they have the Eclipse. And BKB okay. on with Nana is now. Hatsaki needs to run, but she can't get out. Astro step forward, they find this AA, and AA will also be taken out. But Unknown, not too shabby for a fight. Everyone else will get out. Uh, they had to. The thing is, Radiant Sky Mio didn't wasn't attack. able to get on top of the egg, so it was all on Hatake to get the to destroy the egg, which it, which she did good job on her. But Radiant like you spend a lot well. of your Wraith King's BKB time hitting the egg instead of fi hitting other people. So that's a bit of an awkward situation to be in. But speaking of awkward situations, yep. BKB like forced out. Uh, again, if if does A have the shard? Like, A really needs to get the shot Radiant's this game, because it's just so much value. A, no, no shard. No, no it's just a bit of a glimmer. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. We have I'm the axe surprised. on Invoker, so perhaps that's one of the turning points. It helps, but what's your ability to hold them really gonna come down to? Like, your your best stun is an arrow landing, like, full duration. Then you can throw out the Cataclysm. Otherwise, you don't actually have enough. Like lockdown for for you maybe one person only that's it. Uh, but yeah, that's and you were saying talking you talking about the BKB earlier. I think it's very needed for Wraith King. You you need that mobility. You need to jump on people. Yeah. Well, they do clip this tier two, so they have to make sure that they don't lose a big fight or else base is gonna go down. Tornado catches on to Cat Chaser. Abaddon is around, they had the crippling fear, but without the bling dagger, it's, it's taking a bit too long. They use the moonlight shadow, they go uphill, but here comes the phantasm. Good the, uh, silence from Ninga, not to four. Hatake needs to survive for as long as possible, she's gonna lose that first life. Meatball coming through, but Rave King needs to stay alive. BKB, she needs to get out. Supernova's gonna keep her in place. Cataclysm, though, does break the battle lines a bit. And now the Regan coming in, good crippling fear. They get the silence once more on this Luna. She pops the Manta, Nana needs to survive. Sunray getting her up, look at the place bouncing, and they all go down. Nana doesn't even die. Foxy Gaming lose Cat Chaser, but it's going to be the Nana show. As people ask, what does the Fox say? It's four kills for them in this fight. That's exactly what the Fox says. And holy crap, Foxy Gaming. The heal coming out is there. You can see Unknown was throwing everything to get this kill on the Luna. And, and I love how the was walking there with the sword. Like, I just need to hit her just a few times. But then you have the shield come out, Radiant's you have the sunray, and it's so much heal. And this is what we talked about, the supports, like the, the cores in both are the same cores, literally the same. You have uh, Ray King versus Luna doing the same job, Control coming out from Invoker, Radiant's Void Spirit. Tower. But the support duo is so much better on Fox's side. And this is starting to get tough, and it all stems from just a amazing laning stage from mm. Foxy Gaming. I mean, we... we we talked about how Abaddon died like five times in the first eight minutes and it didn't really matter. She, no, she still does her job. She dies because she does not have to bear, uh, borrow time. But right now, like getting on top of her is not a good idea, but getting on top of anyone on Foxy Gaming is not a good idea. Yeah, it's, it's a, like a, there's a big sort of cascading group of events that happened that caused this to, to occur. and. You can say like, yeah, Honey Lisa was is playing so well, crazy out of her mind. Night Stalker wasn't able to get the lane that she needed, uh, so she got the lane she needed. But afterwards, she wasn't able to rotate enough. Uh, Kakeri definitely didn't have the impact that we saw coming out from the Void Spirit. So it's Hataki is still very farmed, by the way. That's the thing. You still have a very farmed Wraith King, but the rest of the team is just not enough, and the support duos particularly. Like I still find this. Mirana not going for max sleep early to be weird. No, I, no shard on the A is also very strange to me. Uh, I still think that Bling Dagger, right? The Bling Dagger will have made yeah. so much difference. You jump on the Phoenix, she dies. That's it. That's the team fight. That's the team fight plus healing. But even the, the fight just now, we saw that uh, no, they had to run uphill. Mm. Like that Bling Dagger really was was needed. I, I'm not sure if. Uh, if you know you should have went like 
uh, blink, uh, Ax into Blink, I think the BKB definitely helps. But judging by how the game is going right now, you you would have loved to have that item. Mm, I'm not sure that's how much magic damage there is on Foxy's side as well. Void Spirit, Phoenix, uh, Eclipse. There's no, I don't think there's a pipe on unknown side. I think that's not good. Needs to consider that's just like, like the Agnes was nice, but what if he had gone for a pipe and Crimson Guard? Like how much damage would you mitigate, right? Because you don't really. I, I still think Agnes is a good choice. It's just that. Would it have been better if you had something more defensive to help your to help everyone else stay alive? It's more like you kind of already have enough damage, right? Now you just need to yeah. be alive to do that damage. They get the Penta Itch Sword, so uh, Rave King, you know, gets an upgrade on this already majestic weapon. Uh, we saw the Witch Bane for both teams. That's gonna be. I think the Witch Bane would be nice on the Invoker. There we go. The Dispel can help, <laughs> though, though it doesn't do anything against the Illusions, but. You know, you want to take away like the fire spirits, um, you know, the curse of Avernus, like they those, they do add up, especially the silence from the resonant pulse. Mm. Yeah, we, we we just glanced over it for a second there. Um, the solar crest on the Abaddon is also a big deal though, because now you can just put on the Luna and you really buff her up. Um, they did have, I think they had Aegis in their previous fight, right? I'm pretty sure she came back to life at one in one of these earlier fights that happened. Um, so the one in the top lane. Yeah. So without it though, there is a big chance for unknown. It's still... Wraith King is still a force to be reckoned with. I don't know if uh, Phoenix does not have... If she doesn't have Ion Disc, you can also kill her, but... You still have to jump on Honey Lisa at the same time. That's the problem. You jump on the, the Phoenix, there's still a shield coming out. Yeah, she has Ion Disc. Screw yeah. that, then. <laughs> You're 100% gonna get the Supernova off. Damn, like there's no way not... I mean, you could kind of not get it if you have the uh, Night Stalker on you because the silence is like based on his AoE. Right. So that's... That you helps, just use but... yourself, you know. Yeah, they, exactly. they have all the defensive you... items. In. It's like, yeah, like night, like like you think you can, you know, uh, you, you think you can stop me, now you really cannot stop me. And, and by the way, they have this really good Observer Ward that a lot of people won't really check. So Foxy Gaming, they, they basically are spying on Unknown right now. Yeah, the, the, I see what you mean, there's that vision over there. If that tree was cut though, that would provide so much more, but it gives you the sort of the details you need if someone passes through and it got rewarded. You yeah, were saying something I... about that spot? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love no, what, I, I love. By the way, H Apparition has the four staff as well as the Glimmer Cave, so all the defensive items that she needs, but again, a shard might really help. She has the Trickster Cloak as well. Mm. Like, you, you have to be very sure that people cannot see you. <laughs> yes, I, 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 she needs the shard. Yeah, it's just it's weird that uh, NL always sort of delays the shard so much when I feel like it's just Dying it's one of the best shards in the game. The AA. It's like good for high ground defense, right? You, you amazing far faster. By the way, I like how the, 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 the base is just empty. Radiant they just left the mid lane. It's like all right, we'll just go in and take just, it. We just run it out. Dying Bling dagger coming up from. Uh, from Kakesu. This is this might be the game changer. Roshan is also back up. This is the second Roshan with the shard. So unknown, they are actually in a pretty good position to contest this if Foxy Gaming commits. And it seems like they now know that Roshan is up, but it it, it is pretty risky to go for it. Yeah, both both teams. I mean, of the two though, I think again Foxy Gaming can just go there, egg whenever they want, and they'd be like. Does Unknown really want to take the fight there? No, probably not. There is a double damage ruin bottom lane, so whoever gets that will have a big advantage in the team fight. But, and a nice deep uh, observer ward being planted by Foxy Gaming into the enemy's base. So if they smoke there, which some teams are like, they don't, they're like, all right, we'll just smoke in our base because we know there's no vision there. And Luna actually takes it uh, with a bottle, so she's definitely having it. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if you, if you want to fight, this is, this is not it. They have their war on the high ground, so Foxy Gaming, if they want to jump, they can actually do this. The smoke does break. Blink, Chaos Bolt, not able to channel uh, completely, but they get the dust. BKB falls up on Kekri. There is a DD rune, the one that we're waiting for. Hatake is going to go straight to the back line and try to take out the target, but there's no follow up. Reactive is going to pull Kekri back, stun her. That's two seconds, and two seconds is just sufficient. 90 seconds for the Invoker who has to buy back immediately. They want to turn on this uh, Luna. Cataclysm kind of go, goes wide a bit, but the Kofi, not enough. Now they actually go off the Manta. Nana turns around. Double damage going to work. Double move on. Catch is the Ace is going to detonate. 
It is gonna buy back. Hataki comes back to light. The tornado's not gonna help out. Triple Meatball coming through. It's the Italian special, but it's not enough. They still lose their king. And Foxy Gaming just doing it so well. Now the king buys back. He wants, she wants to rejoin this fight. But Foxy, they still have the Eclipse. And unknown, if they want to take the fight, it is right now. But Foxy Gaming, they just retreat. Supernova's gone. As long as Supernova's gone, you still have a chance to take Roshan, which I think that that might be what Unknown wants. Like, you take the Rosh, you give the Wraith King three lives, you might have an advantage. And the Wraith King is so close to 25, the, the level 25 talent you can take, the extra crit is so good. But I guess I might like, alright, they know how important this Rosh, Roshan is for Unknown. And they said, no, we're not gonna give it to you. Because we know that this is like your. They prefer the crit of the Wraith Fire Blast um, when you die. I think the, I think everyone's taking the 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 crit because Wraith Fire Blast only activates if you die, so it's kind of like you know I have to. Sort I don't want to die, it. right? Yeah, I don't want to. I would just be so. I, I, at the beginning, it was like everyone was taking the the stun. I was like, oh, the stun must be really good, but now I'm not taking the crit. So this is one of those things where I feel like a core player knows a lot more than uh, than I do in this in this situation. But overall, they the pros all seem to agree. I want more damage rather than stuns if I die. It's a tough situation to be in three buybacks uh, used for unknown. Like if they get caught one more time, this game might just, you know, conclude. By the way, we are almost reaching the longest game of the series. We're at 46 minutes, oh, sorry, 45. We were 53 last game, so... 54. More. And it's a, it was 53, 59. I remember that number. Uh, so we're 53 at minutes. <laughs> 53! No, five, five, rounding off doesn't work like that. Oh, by the way, the, oh, the, the AOT is... Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, that's because what? when you Icarus dive, you take like 20% of your max health as damage <laughs> okay. anyway. And she took like yeah. one hit and she was like, all right, that's actually, it's like, that's actually a big deal. It's like, oh, wait, I uh, did not think of that. Yeah, because she used Fire Spirits and Icarus dive at the same time. So it's like, all right, that's all my HP in one one thing. And then she took one arrow from Mirana. It's like, that's gonna that's that's kind of annoying for Phoenix that you have to use your HP later on. It's like God, come on. Yeah, like plus twenty seconds on the A on this. Mm. Now there's no guarantee uh, Supernova, that's for sure. But another smoke. Who? Oh boy, they see the AA. That's that's an AA without buyback. Glimmer kit. There's the trickster cloak. If you want to use the Kakeri, just walks in. Oh my goodness, just that is not what you want to do. AA down for seventy seconds. Hatake gotta start running, they have the Guardian Scream, K3 with the Ghost Walker squad, they can turn around and try to kill up this voice but she does have the use Scepter, and now it seems like Unknown have been forced to commit, at least just for a little while. Used. Yeah, they used the, uh, they, they forced out the Supernova, but without that Ice Blast, does Unknown really want to take this? There's gonna be a bit of commitment, Cat Chaser now pop the BKB. Hatake can stand in front, get stunned up, that's two seconds and only. Ningen trying to join in, but that is the spaghetti meatball dropping down. Crippling field on top of the voice spirit, she does have to use. To keep herself alive for now, Hatake is going to move forward. The arrow actually connects now, Cataclysm comes down. Oh, honey, Lisa the save. Yeah, it's a good astral step as well. Foxy just doing this so well, Unknown still wants to go for a change. Another blink in, it gets silence. But you don't really want to go into Abaddon though, she has that borrowed time, just waiting to use it. And now Ringen comes from Ningen, Hatake is finally going to get caught, they burst him down. And she's going to come back with a second life, but Keiko is already dead! There's two minutes without the Invoker! Hatake is completely alone, five minutes from the Abaddon, Foxy Gaming knows that they got this. And Sky Mill will also lose her life. And just the overextending of Unknown Gaming, they fall prey to Foxy's tactical villains. That's three kills. Do they even need Roshan? I think they can just go straight for the base. Uh, looks like they, I think they might be considering that they might be buyback that they should be worried about, but I mean, they kind of should know that both Wraith King and Voker don't have buyback, but they're playing it safe. There is a small chance that you go up to the high ground, you lose one or two people, then you really think, oh man, four minutes Roshan. And this is the second Roche, so it gives you that uh, shard. So there's a, there's a lot of value in taking this one. And yeah, they still got 90 seconds to, to push with. Oh man, though, Foxy Gaming, like, the team fight is so strong. And Unknown just has no answer for it. Like, Hatake is doing so well in these fights, and she's, she's not enough. She's She needs more more help from her team, and especially the sports, she just cannot bring it. Like, Kanye Lisa, do you see that? Shield on them get to keep her alive. That was the same strong. Uh, and now they know that there's definitely no buyback because if there were, I know would have used it. So 
Foxy going straight for the throne. Elimination match on the line for Unknown. But what else do they have left in the tank? Skymu is now back to life. They have to live to buy a couple of more seconds. But it's 3 versus 5 against an Aegis for almost a minute. This is it. Foxy Gaming, they have done it. GG is called. And they will earn that rematch against Jaramy in the grand finals later on. Yeah, Foxy Gaming, brilliant draft. Really liked what they, what they had with their supports. Their team fight was so strong. I thought the Wraith King was a great pick and did work out pretty well for them. But just uh, like Foxy Gaming, maybe the, Ra the Abaddon may have lost a little bit. Uh, top lane his li her life a few times, but mid lane went very well for Ningint. Bottom lane went pretty well for them as well, and just Sleepless farmed up a stuff. Sleepless was the same level as Invoker throughout the whole game, which is crazy when you think about it. Yeah, I didn't... Would... Oh my goodness! Like just a really, really good draft from Foxy Gaming. Unknown. I feel like there was a few mistakes here and there. No shot for the AA. No leaps for the Mirana. I kind of think KK Su could have taken defensive items instead of going for the for the agonims, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, it was all Foxy Gaming's play. Just they just played so well. Holy crap, they played so. Look at look at Ingid, eleven and two. Nana eight and zero. Well, was there a point that you think Unknown would have been able to at least uh, turn the tides around or put themselves back on track to win the game, or do you think that this whole game was just Foxy Gaming from start to end? I think there was a couple of sec a couple of points where I was like, oh, you know, this looks like a pretty even like game. Maybe I don't can can do something here, but uh, I don't think at any point I thought that oh, Fox game is gonna lose. Like I thought Fox game might be a little bit of trouble here and there, but overall they were in control. Of it. Felt like the entire game they were in control, honestly. And well, that kind of concludes the journey of unknown uh, in this tournament in FSL Dota to Open Two. Uh, we. No, didn't get to see them yesterday, but they, they put up a great performance, right? Despite going mm -hmm. out, they showed us what a comeback looks like. They've showed us, you know, the carry Wyvern and all, an Invoker. So definitely uh, made, made a splash. But coming right up, Grand Finals, best of three. Foxy Gaming against Jar Army, the team that knocked them down into the lower bracket in the first place. Uh, mm -hmm. Any predictions, any expectations for this best of three? I mean, it sucks to say, but I kind of have a pretty strong leaning that Jarmy is just stronger. Yeah, Foxy Gaming played really well in this in this match. They even played really well against Jarmy yesterday. But unless they they have some pocket strats, I think Jarmy is just their their players are higher ranked for a reason because they are quite a bit better. But it Dota is very unpredictable. Any team can take it. But my heart, my my feeling is that Jarmy is going to take it. All right, and there you have it from our analyst right here. We are going to take a short break. And of course, everything is brought to you by our organizers, FSL, alongside our sponsors and partner, Intel and Yahoo. We will be right back in a bit for the grand final special trees. Jeremy against Foxy Gaming. Stay tuned.